Hello everyone, Gumball here, and welcome back to the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack, where today we're going to have a look at some bees and hopefully uh, some trees afterwards. So we're going to have a look at the forestry mod, and uh, the forestry mod adds, if we quickly look that up, a lot of stuff. It adds uh, a lot of new types of trees and wood and food and farms and a lot of bees, pages and pages of different bees and saplings and adds butterflies and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to have a uh, start having a look at this today mainly because it's a pretty cool way of uh, getting hold of diamonds uh, with either the diamond bees or the diamondi bees depending on which uh, which mod add-on you go with. I think the diamond ones might be from extra bees. Yeah, they add the diamond combs. Uh, which are from extra bees, so I think the diamondy ones are from, let's see, they give the diamond chart, they're from the magic bees mod, so uh, whichever add-on you want to use most uh, you can go with. I'm just going to go with the cheaper one, because uh, I'm not sure which we're going to use yet. Uh, but first we're going to make something that we would have needed earlier if I had not gone to a village, uh, that is the squeezer, so we can uh, chuck that down here and what this will do is it will enable you to get seed oil which we would have needed to make an apiary uh, for the uh, impregnated casing uh, for like a home for the bees but I found two of those in a village so we're not going to use this for now uh, but we, uh, we will need it again in the future and then in here I have the recipe for a tree elizer, which is something that we'll need and these can't connect past the uh, laser, so let's do that. That should give this power, yep, that should start making the tree elizer, and then we're also going to make a bee elizer. Now the tree elizer is a way that we'll be able to start uh, getting all the cool trees, because I think without it, it doesn't work. For that you're going to need two buckets of water, uh, two pieces of redstone, a diamond, four copper, and uh, two glass panes. So we'll just let that go, there's our tree elizer, then for the bee elizer it's the same recipe but with tin instead of copper. So we're gonna put the stuff in and tell it to go, there we go, and that'll start and then with our tree elizer we can right click it, we'll put in some trees and now we can see that uh, these uh, oak saplings have, uh, now have a different name, apple oak saplings. So these are the basic forestry tree, the one that you start with, uh, and I think we may want to get the birch one as well, uh, for starters, so let's do that, uh, there we go, silver birch, and then we can get our bee elizer, and that will be useful with the different types of bees in the future. Now we're not going to need that recipe in there anymore, uh, we can clear, no we can't clear that, that's strange, but okay, so now we'll that we've got our trees, we're going to want a way to grow them. Do we have any bone meal, or am I going to have to wait for a while? Looks like I'm going to have to wait for a while. Yeah, okay, let's quickly grab the bees that I've managed to collect. And uh, the way you get bees is you make one of these scoops, or this one here I got from a village. They're just uh, some wool and some sticks. Um, and then you can get bees by going around and finding hives and just uh, breaking them with the scoop. You'll also get a few combs as well. Oh, and here's uh, one of the saplings you can get from forestry. Actually, I got this in a village as well, so that's something that we'll need uh, eventually. And is there anything else? Uh, the wintry queens here, two wintry queens, I also got those in the village. They're generally uh, harder to get. And then there's a few other cool items I got there. Uh, but let's head on over here to an area where we'll probably keep the bees for a while. And uh, here looks like a good spot to put some stuff down. Uh, so we can put down ooh, an apple oak sapling there. And I'll go a couple blocks away. Apple oak sapling there. One, two, three, four. Uh, an apple oak sapling there. And then once those grow, we'll do the silver birch, uh, so I'll have to show that. And then we can put down an apiary here, and here, those are close enough. 
and this apiary is going to need a queen. So we're going to start with a meadows, I uh, know, a queen or a princess. And we're going to do the meadows ones because we want to start off uh, by just getting more of these. I think this will enable us. Uh, so we've got to let this go for a while. I think we've got to wait for the... Um, yeah, everything seems fine. We've just got to wait for the bar to go down, I think. And then that queen will die, but it will uh, produce a whole load of uh, offspring. And then, I think... Uh, is there anything we can do with this mystical princess without possibly losing it? A good way we can do this. A common drone and a mystical princess is a good way to go. So we'll put those in there. Come on. Bloop. There we've got a mystical queen, so that's quite nice. And as you can see, this bar started uh, going down and these bees are going around. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can get some uh, bone meal and grow these trees faster because it's important to have them grown uh, while the trees are, uh, while the bees are going. Uh, so I'll be right back uh, once uh, something happens. So guys, I'm back, and uh, both of the sets of beads have finished. So in here we have uh, one uh, uh, mystical princess, that's another princess, and uh, two common drones. So we got the drone extra, and over here we got an extra meadows drone. I'm going to set this one on again. I've also put these uh, impregnated and untreated frames in each of these. I think they provide bonuses to the chance of getting stuff or something like that, or getting uh, what you would... Uh, preferably want, uh, which didn't actually happen though this time. Uh, and here I've got the silver birch sapling uh, uh, tree even, and the two apple oak trees, uh, but there's no new leaves uh, to show you. But what happens is uh, over time when these bees um, breed uh, any nearby leaves uh, can breed together, and then you'll use your grafter, which is two sticks and a bronze ingot, uh, to just break the leaf and uh, that increases your chance of getting a sapling from that leaf. Now you don't always get a sapling so that's kind of a downside after all of that waiting. Uh, but that's pretty much the process for bees uh, when you're starting off. Uh, later on you can go into the gender stream mod which will make things like a million times easier but uh, that's more expensive especially since it requires you get like the infinity queen bee which takes silicon and energetic bees which take like Tons of other bees, sky stone, which is what does sky stone produce? I'm going to assume sky stone. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so you've got to keep doing that. Eventually, you'll get uh, what you want, and uh, there's a few cool things we can do afterwards. So I'm gonna uh, go away now, and I'll do some more uh, breeding of the bees, and hopefully get some uh, saplings from the trees that I can show you, and uh, we'll see where this goes. So guys, I'm back, and the bees have finished up again, but this time. Uh, during their uh, during the process of uh, breeding, they also made uh, some different combs. So over here we've got some honeycombs. Uh, these uh, require a, a centrifuge uh, to be used in most situations, I think. You can use them for a bee house and an apiarist chest, uh, which we'll probably need in the future, and you can also pack them into a crate of them. Uh, but they're used mainly for beeswax, and I think more importantly, honey. Uh, now honey we can eventually use for food and stuff, but it's also used for propolis, uh, which we can use for apiarist pipes and a few other things. Um, not 100% sure what everything's used for yet, I'll have to do some more looking into that. Um, and also nothing's happened with our trees, so I'm getting the feeling I may or may not be doing something wrong. So I'll have to look that up. Uh, but with these combs, uh, oh yeah, and the mundane comb can also get us magic wax, which will be used for magic bees with certain frames. Uh, we have candles, uh, I think that might just be it. Essence of everlasting durability, that might be used on tools. So there's some uh, really cool stuff that you can actually do with bees that you wouldn't really expect. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to need is the centrifuge, so I'll have to gather the stuff for that. Uh, I'll probably make that between episodes, and then we'll take more of a look at it next episode. Um, but I'm going to go look up the tree stuff, and if there's anything to tell you, I'll come back. Um, and if there isn't, then I'll just... Uh, oh, we didn't get a mystical princess. That's kind of annoying. Uh, over here, what do we have? Just normal meadows ones. Here, I'm just trying to replicate them so that we've definitely got enough left over. But yeah, if there's not anything I'm doing wrong with these trees, then... Uh, 
we may finish up, or uh, depending on the time, I'll probably uh, look into something else. So I will be right back and we'll see where we go from here. So guys, I'm back and I've managed to do a few things. So first of all, I made three of these uh, bee houses and uh, they're basically the same recipe as the apiary, but instead of the casing uh, on the inside, you instead use uh, any type of honeycomb. So it's uh, five planks, three uh, slabs and uh, any honeycomb. Then you can put your bees in here just the same as... Let me just get rid of this dude. Uh, just the same as in the apiary. But they, uh, I think they have a three times uh, as much chance of uh, causing pollination on trees. Uh, also what I did was I added some uh, normal Minecraft flowers around here. I think those are the ones you have to have for pollination in the trees to occur. And I have a chest over here with the rest of the bees. Now what's happened over here is we have these uh, different colored leaves. And what we can do is we can use our grafter on these and get a different type of sapling. So here we have a silver lime sapling. And we should be able to get a few more of these, hopefully. Um, let's see, that should be another silver lime sapling. Now grafters do seem to break quite quickly. Uh, there's one more over here. Now we can just punch this, but there's a smaller chance as we can see there. That's basically the process you go through uh, of getting the different trees and different bees. So what I'm going to have to do is get some more of those trees to get some of the cool woods and stuff. Oh, also, to see the leaves you have to wear these spectacles, which are two glass panes and a bronze ingot. Uh, you need those to be able to see the, the white leaves. Let me see if I have any other white leaves anywhere. There's one. If I take these glasses off, I can't see it. And if I put them on, there it is. Uh, but I think for today we'll finish up there because I'll have to do a lot more with the bees and the trees and it's kind of slightly boring. Uh, but now you know how to do that. And I'm going to put the helmet on because it looks better with the Abraham Lincoln hat. <laughs> uh, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack. Um, if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, it lets me know that you did and that you'd maybe like to see some more. Uh, next episode, we'll hopefully have a few cool new bees and trees, uh, but we probably won't have the diamond ones, and I think there's an emerald one as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's also the emerald bee. That's another one that we'll uh, want to get. I did actually manage to get some cultivated bees. Uh, so those are the, uh, one up from the common ones. Uh, so that's really good to have those. Uh, that'll be really uh, helpful in getting like the diamond ones and all of those. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time. Bye bye.